the fur family living here for a while were only two cats, Claire Petrina and Maniki Nico. There was space for another fur paw here. So I started to clean out my craftsman's room to turn it into a base camp for a new cat to come into this household. And while you watch me clean, I can tell you about the plan that did not turn out quiet as it was planned. Sometimes life just takes over, you know? Back in Germany, I have seen a couple of animal shelters. Usually they have old cats there. And nobody wants to adopt old cats. That's what came to my mind thinking about fostering or maybe even adopting. So I wanted to give at least one old cat home for the rest of his or her life as a kind of a lovely retirement place to be. So the plan was to visit some shelters here in the Czech Republic. I started to write them and look at photographs of cats. I barely tumbled over an old one. One of the shelters answered a very lovely lady whose English was very good. So I visited the shelter and there was not one lovely fur paw, but two. Two coming to me. And soon it was clear that I was adopted now. The two coming up to me are the two coming out of the transport box, the first here. The first one who came out, her name is Yolanda. And here you see Oscar. But guess what? Here's a third one. <laughs> and her name is Yintrishka. And I can tell you why. They're all siblings. And look at them, look at them. It's their first day. I know the footage here is so bad, but I just tried to film them from every perspective and angle and, and they're already curious. And see here, they're even that curious that we could feed them the very first night. Now please tell me, please tell me, how could I have left a third one behind? They are siblings, you cannot separate them. This lovely lady from the shelter told us that nobody wanted them and they were found close to an office in the huge city of Prague, left alone. Originally there were five, two were already adopted. And now I'm fostering these three beautiful fur balls because I want to give it a try if Claire Petrina and Maniki Nicole will get along with them. And soon it became darker and it was time to go to bed. I barely slept through the night and I was so curious the next morning to see if they're awake and how they're doing. And I found them in the same position as yesterday night. <laughs> look at them, oh, look at them, aren't they cute? It is so beautiful that I can just walk up to them 
and touch them and pet them and caress them. And you know what, I think this is because of this great system of this specific shelter, because they do not have a separate building, but the people who work for the shelter, they provide their home for the cats who are with this shelter. So we basically were at this lovely lady's house. There she has two rooms, especially for the cats. And since they're so used to being around humans, they're just totally, totally socialized and so cuddly. So stay tuned because next time I will show you how Manikini Cool reacts to the kittens, what Cleopatrina thinks about them and what they think about the door to still separate the bigger ones and the smaller ones to have them have time to get to know each other. Thank you so much for watching and we see each other very, very soon.